Now, after getting its first female Supreme Court Chief Justice and Central Bank Governor, Mexico is now readying itself for its first female president. Mexico is set for presidential elections next year, and the two top and the top two contenders are both women, Claudia Sheinbaum and Shoshit Galvez. This is the first in the country's history, although other candidates will appear on the ballot as well. The winning candidate is expected to be either of these two women. Now, Claudia Sheinbaum is the presidential candidate representing Mexico's ruling party. She would also be the first president with Jewish heritage if she wins. She served as the mayor of Mexico City until she resigned to run for presidency. Now, she is a protege of Mexico's current president, Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador following closely in his a staunch secular leftist footsteps. Most polls suggest that she is currently ahead in the race. Now, opposite her is engineer and tech entrepreneur Soshit Galvez, the senator with indigenous roots selected to represent the broad front. For Mexico, opposition coalition negative publicity acted as the shaping hands for Galvez, uh, Galvez rise to spotlight. Galvez served as the top official for indigenous affairs under former president Vincent Fox before becoming a senator herself. Now, Galvez has repeatedly advocated for the rights and welfare of indigenous groups and Afro-Mexicans. When these two entered politics at the start of the millennium, more than four in five senators in the country were men. Today, the majority are women. For a country that did not allow its women to vote until 1953, a female president seems to be a step closer to finding gender parity here. Now, it all changed in 1996 when Mexican lawmakers recommended that women make up 30% of all congressional candidates. In 2002, this recommendation became law and by 2008, the quota was raised to 40% female representation. In 2014, the percentage was once, hiked, once again hiked to 50% and then came the 2019 gender parity and everything constitution reform. The reform expanded the 50% quota to include the executive, legislative and judicial branches.